RMAF, September 6th through the 8th. We're at a little over 9,000 on the GoFundMe, and therefore this is happening. This is the yard sale for the month of August. And I'm starting this with this. It's an important one because I'm probably gonna run this now. This was gifted to the channel. This was gifted to the channel. The review is in the description of this video. It's still unlisted. So the patrons have it, now you guys have it, or anyone who wants to click. These are the Odyssey MX4s. And there are a $3,000 set of headphones that someone donated so they could be sold in this yard sale and that money can go towards RMAF. So, if you'd like to own $3,000 headphones for $1,342.18, I'm just saying you could bid that. Join my Patreon for $5 or more a month and you can throw a bid at it. Maybe you win, maybe you don't. If you don't win, at least enjoy the eight or nine videos that are there that are not public. If you do win, if you live in America, I ship for free. You live outside of America, I charge you half shipping. But that's, that is a glorious thing. The review is done. It is just not public yet. So that's... Please. I'm going to have to buy the amplifiers for RMAF I just found out because Crown doesn't have the ones I want. And they're not willing to send me them. Asshole. I mean, this is my town. You can't, only I can do that. Anyway, twice, at least once, twice we've tried to sell these. The Emu XM7 speakers and the Baerdynamic A20. And everyone's flaked every time. So let's try again the third time. Another thing donated to the channel. He's willing to accept like a percentage of it. These I bought. Just please take speakers from me. Please. Please speakers. So, uh, MX4s, A20. XM7s. I've decided to keep the 60s as I just need that treble. But if you want the width and the bass, here are the SR80s stretched to perfection by Zeos himself. You can't buy squeaks like that. I don't believe I have the original boxes for this, but I will wrap it up nicely. And you can now officially own uh, SR80s. All the proceeds are basically going towards Rocky Mountain. Um, the wedge, the little Goddamn Pleno is going to be for sale. Um, I think I have the original box for this. I should have all the original boxes for any players. And I'll try to remember to take out my memory card with my music on it. Just, I'll give that a shot. So that's in the yard sale. The Topping DX3. This is the one that has the weird volume switch thing. But a uh, fucking solid headphone amplifier. Solid DAC. Quality shit. Um, I actually have two of these. This one, yard sale. Put that down. The Aoun <sighs> T1SE, the tube pre that I said pretty much competed with the X2O, but X2O is built better and the X2O has the magic tube that makes my 909s work. So this is in the yard sale. Here's the tube packed away. It's all beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? I love this thing. But let's put it in the yard sale. I'm pretty sure I. That's my forehead, I think. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. In this, another donation for the yard sale for RMAF. The big topping TP60. This is the 11-pound brick amp that I'm like, Jesus Christ. Booyaka shaka laka daka. In here, direct from Mass Drop and then to my closet, and now to you, is the Bear Dynamic... DT-177X GO! Oh, look at them. I've decided to not bring them all the way out to RMAF. I'm gonna bring my Neumanns instead. Oh, but they are a beautiful piece. Again, money. Need money for amps. So, these. These will get repacked properly in a bit. Down here. Now, remember when I reviewed the DM7s and I'm like, not really that great and I'm probably gonna keep the wire. Well, I kept the wire and I had it modified to a four pole Pentacon connector. So if you'd like the DM7s and the wire from the original tin P1, which should work, I'll make sure that's the right connector. It should be the right connector. Boom, that's in the yard sale. And that's just, they tried so hard, baby. They, they tried so hard. And then finally, I'm gonna throw this as a combo 
because I don't think either one of these is going to garner enough money to sell on its own. So ZS10s, not ZS10 Pros, spoiler alert, ZS10 Pros are fucking amazing. The original ZS10s and my UR40s with the original pads. Look, I found them. Remember in the review I said I don't know if I found those pads and I totally found them and they're just as shitty as ever. So you'll get the shitty padded UR40s and ZS10s. That's a combo. So just call that the ZS10 combo when you're bidding on it. Um, oh, and finally, ah, uh, 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 fuck you, fuck. Oh, there you go. Another pair of the Studio 530s in black. Brand new, unopened, perfect. Even with French underneath it, if you need, in case you need that. These are some of the best speakers you could get. I like them near field more than I like them in a room, but just owning them is like an honor. It's an honor, damn it. They're also heavy. Oh God, please bid if you're in America. Don't let people from like Venezuela beat you. If you're from Venezuela, don't let people from America beat you. Just know that I'm gonna charge half shipping and that thing's big. So that's basically it. There's 12 items, I think I counted 12. They're all linked in the description. The link to the Patreon where you would go to bid on these if you're already a patron, just click it, you'll see the post. If you're not a patron, click it, you'll see, do you wanna be a patron? So yes. You could throw me offers on everything or one thing, doesn't really matter. And then come the 10th of this month, or after the 10th, invoices will be sent, emails will be sent. If you win, you know about it. If you don't win, you don't know about it. I can't send usually over 100 bids, and I can't send you didn't win bids to everyone. So just the people who won, no. Gotcha? Clear? Blind silent auctions? It's the way to go. No bidding war. Oh, this guy's going to bid this much. Just whatever you can afford. If you can afford to pay $100.18 for those, bid. If you don't win, you don't lose any more money than you could have. I hate that shit. A bidding war would be great for me, but not great for my people. And if you're paying to be there, I'm gonna make it better for you. Trust me. So now I've got a liquor. Um, a mess. I, I did this. I moved, I did a thing real quick. I did a thing. But well, now that's in there. So now my, my whole apartment's a disaster. So anyway, that's fun. Um, I'll link to the Megamine Shrine in the description as well, because uh, she earns it. And I will see you all tomorrow with a normal video, or maybe tomorrow will be the Canto Tuck sound demo, maybe? I wanna get this out. So I think tomorrow's the Canto Tuck sound demo. I'll delay it one day. This is August the 2nd. That'll be the third. So on the fourth will be a new review. And until then, Enjoy listening to music like a cool person, because that's a cool catchphrase.